well welcome back um today for breakfast i'm finally eating the crabs cre cre crepes crepes crabs i have filled it up with a with a coffee spoon tea, with a teaspoon of honey and bananas and i'm really excited because yesterday i mean you can check the previous vlog ah i clickbait you you can check the previous vlog for a recipe and yeah and i was so excited to eat it i was like i can't wait for morning and let's taste test it love just amazing i grew up eating this my mom would always be so patient <laughs> because every time she would make crepes uh pancakes anything for us me and my sister would just come and steal it throughout the process of making them the plate would always be empty because we kept eating <laughs> so yeah it just reminds me a lot of my childhood Okay guys, I couldn't come up with the plan for today as well because it's Saturday, all my friends are busy. And I was thinking on making like the video related to what I eat in a day but then I realized I would probably eat like max two times a day <laughs> and drink zero water. This is my biggest bad habit that I don't drink enough water. So I decided why don't I go to gym, uh, what I would want to improve in my life going to gym uh, and it would be like a great uh, moment to start because probably it's Saturday everyone's sleeping at 12 p.m. there's gonna be nobody uh, since it's the first day after a big gap I would say like two weeks gap from gym I would go and do fully stretching and get my body ready for like you know upcoming workouts let's see There's literally not a single soul in here. I'm gonna fix my ugly hair. Uh, so the plan is to stretch. I have the perfect video for stretching. Last time I did it, I felt as if I was reborn. Most probably try to make some dance on TikTok, which I'm extremely delusional. I'm. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't say I'm bad in dancing, but I'm bad in remembering the choreo like um, i really bad so the time for tiktok video came i really want to do this me delusional let's go oh this time and then this Okay. How do people make it seem as if it's so easy? Um, um, my, f I, I feel so old for any dancing trend. My knees keep cracking. I keep dying. <laughs> Did I just make it just because I wasn't focused on what I'm doing? I'm done. 
I ain't doing it. I ain't even trying it. I promise you to challenge myself. I never promised you to be good at whatever I'm challenging myself in. So, I guess we're equal, right? <sighs> Yay! A little uh, snack time after gym. Mm. I'm a huge simp of kiwis. Usually, I take them in the morning on an empty stomach, but today I didn't feel like it. I've seen people eating kiwis with their skin. That's some sick shit. Today is one of those days that I'm lazy to do anything. My head hurts for no reason. I had two cups of coffee today and it still didn't help. I don't know what to do. I was planning on making this video related to what I eat in a day, but just realistically, I ate breakfast that you saw, the snack, and I'm really hungry, but at the same time, I don't want to cook. But if I order food, I'm gonna feel really like, you know, guilty for just like being lazy and not cooking because I have so many groceries in my fridge screw it guys i decided to cook because i have spent already a lot of money on deliveries on my groceries if you look at my fridge it's full i will probably make our traditional pilaf uh pilaf i don't know how to explain but as long as it's like a cold traditional i'm just gonna adapt it to whatever i have <laughs> Because I think people are gonna get offended if I call it like a exact thing that they're making in my country. So guys, all the ingredients are ready. Here's the carrots. I use like three big carrots. I love them, so I don't really care about the amount of them, so. Uh, here's the chicken. I just, uh, yeah. It's chicken, please, Uzbek people don't yell at me or cry or whatever because I, I'm not a fan of red meat so I always use chicken and my home, even my mom knows that I hate red meat so she makes like, you know, separate, uh, separate chicken for me so our plan is first is to preheat the pot we have the secret ingredients it's the i don't know guys i will google the name of it in english but it's like a special oil yeah we gotta make the sunflower oil with the zvario <laughs> this is how it's called uh, i keep laughing whenever i speak uzbek just because i think it's my security that's why and my coping skill is laugh about it so i usually do everything just like you know eyeballing them For like a one-to-one -one proportion we mixing the oils so i have i have options just because i don't have onion uh for the like a for the real recipe I don't have uh, onions, but my mom told me so it doesn't matter what you put first. It's either carrots or chicken. Um, so I'll just go with this. Here. Should I call my mom? Guys, I have uh, cooked like pilaf two times, I guess. Max. Two times max. Once when I was with my friend, Tima, and second was for my own self. But I always just follow my intuition. I never follow the actual recipes. I think Uzbek nationality might just cross me off of the list right now because I'm like literally cursing at their food, at our food. But guys, let's say I'm a beginner, but I'm not. Before I would always cook, but the pot would be different. It would be like a kazan. It's like a, it's like a big, chunky pot that you know anything you make anything you make there is gonna be delicious you don't even have to try you just make it there it's delicious it's like probably as old as my grandma i swear to god but here i don't have okay i'm looking for excuses 
Here I don't have anything, neither the ingredients, Uzbek ingredients, nor uh, my mom next to me. <laughs> okay, I'm way too homesick to be honest because I didn't fly, I didn't get, because this, uh, because this spring break I didn't visit my family, I didn't fly to Uzbekistan, yeah, I'm being way too homesick right now. I couldn't go there because I flew to Macedonia that you can see from my vlogs. Are you even watching them? If you're not, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, I I flew there for our graduation project, for visiting Macedonia, for visiting Pima's family. And yeah, it was amazing. I, I don't regret anything because if I if I just went to my home country, I would just sit home and do nothing. But I explored, I traveled, I lived the best two weeks. I would say, okay, am I being biased if I'm saying of my life? Because there's Bodrum. <gasps> Guys, I've been to Bodrum. If there was anyone, Aladdin, oh, Jin from Aladdin would come here and be like, what's your only wish? I would be like, Okay, my intrusive thought would be like, take me back to Bodrum. No, literally make Bodrum never end. But I would be stupid. Like, girl, be so for real. <laughs> Ask for money and then your Bodrum will never end. But yeah, it's just like, I think my inner thought that just haunts me. It's my Roman Empire. <gasps> Bodrum is my Roman Empire every day. Oh my god, every day I think about our uh, vacation in Bodrum. It was my first vacation in my life. Like, vacay, vacay, like, like all-inclusive type of thing, like, ever. So, I'm so blinded with it. Like, I don't think that I will ever experience anything better than the first time, like, vacation. I think nothing is better than the first time, right? first time trying some food and then you go back to the food and it doesn't really taste the same and then you're like oh my god and then for example you go to some places it doesn't matter park whatever you get like really good experience you enjoy it and then the second time you go there you're like eh but I think it's not related to Bodrum guys okay <laughs> I better stop advertising Bodrum as if it's paying me no one has no need to pay, just take me there. I talked longer than I would like uh, actually make the food. And now I have to add spices. So also eyeballing everything. Then there's, there's black pepper. And there's this. My love, my obsession after Bodrum is a spice called um, Zira. What else should I guys talk to you about? We covered the Bodrum topic, we got we covered Macedonia. Um, dude, does all of you guys know where I come from? So, my hometown is Uzbekistan. It's uh, I was born in Tashkent. My family is originally from Samarkand, Semerkent. It's turning out so great! I'm gonna see you when I'm devouring the pilaf. pilaf. Osh. However you call it, call it. Uh, first, we take like a layer of rice so we have our food also layered then it goes carrots and chicken itself on top look at it oh my gosh finally right uh, I, I get to try what i made i can't wait uh, let's have the first bite It's actually hot. Mm. 
Delish. I'm gonna enjoy my meal guys and that was all for today it was kind of uh, what I eat in a day slash a first day of gym yeah and me embarrassing myself with TikTok dances yeah but I think it was fun I had a really I had a good time with you guys I'll spend the rest of my night uh, editing this exact video and tomorrow we can start a new one <laughs>